Alright guys, now let's see how to work the next problem. It says y is equal to secant x using first principles. So what's the first stage? Let's work on it. x would increment by x plus delta x and y would be y plus delta y. Substitute these guys here that y plus delta y is equal to secant x plus delta x and so what do you have? And what happens here? I'm looking for y on the left hand side always, right? That's my first stage of the problem. That is secant x plus delta x minus y then who is y is my question that goes like secant x plus delta x minus secant x now i don't have any formula connected to secant but i can write secant as one by cos right so i'll take secant as one by cos so that becomes one by cos of x plus delta x minus one by cos x right now what is the next thing i can see i can take the lcm because you have fractions here so let's go ahead i can take it as what um cos of x plus delta x uh, and cos x then I cross multiply I get cos x minus cos x plus delta x is what I have nice so that is delta y that's what I have now look at this now this guy looks like one of the transformation formulas that is cos c minus cos t do I have that yeah I have cos c minus cos d is minus 2 sine c plus d by 2 and c minus d by 2 Right? So who is C here? C is this fellow. You guys see and this whole thing is D. So that looks like minus 2 and sine C plus D by 2. That is X plus X plus delta X by 2 into I have sine X minus delta X X plus delta X. The whole thing divided by 2. And this whole thing is given divided by cos of x plus delta x and you know, cos x and so what we have All right now let's go ahead what can i do with this guy so i have minus 2 sine it looks like 2x plus delta x by 2 yep and this guy looks like if i open the brackets here what do you get i get sine of i can write this as x minus x minus delta x right the whole thing divided by 2 and this 2 is inside so i can cancel these two guys see what's left cos of x plus delta x into cos x yes so what's up with this guy minus 2 sine and that goes like can I divide this both by 2 that is 2 2x two by 2 is x plus delta x by 2 yeah that's what I have and here I have sine of minus delta x by 2 yes there's an into here and that's what I have cos of x plus delta x and cos x now this case I need to now divide what? So what I have is delta y. The next stage of the problem is dividing both sides by, let me do it here. Okay, now dividing both sides by delta x. Right, so I can see that uh, sine of negative theta. We already know this, sine of negative theta is what? Let me write that, sine of minus theta is sine minus sine theta. So negative sine just comes up. So sine of negative theta, this sine will come out, multiply with this sine, they become become both plus. So minus into minus, right? That's what you have. And I have two sine uh, x plus delta x by two and a sine delta x by two. Okay, that's what I have. All right. So this would become plus. So I don't have to write this. I just write minus into minus would become plus. And the whole thing divided by I have cos of x plus delta x and cos of x yes I'm dividing left hand side with by delta x so on the right hand side also I'll divide by delta x now this is what I have can I make this guy somehow one the next thing I should think is what I should not have delta x in denominator somehow I should remove it either I can cancel it or I should use it in a formula we know this right so a formula which we use is this limit of let's say sine theta by theta where I see that theta tends to 0 is 1 right this guy looks like that sine theta by but this is not complete we have a theta delta x by 2 then you have only delta x there's a 2 missing can I write this 2 here yes I can just write 2 there and 2 there see these two guys anyway cancel out not a problem so now this looks more like what I want and I can cancel these twos right so what do you get sine of let me apply the limits now third stage limit of delta y by delta x where delta x tends to 0 same limit of delta x tends to 0 and I have this guy that is sine 
x plus delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by cos of x plus delta x into cos x and I can write a uh, limit of this guy that is sine delta x by 2 the whole thing divided by delta x by 2 and again delta x is turning to 0 this whole thing looks like the formula which will become 1 so that is done so what happens here let me apply the limit I'll get sine of x and this becomes 0 so that's it this is divided by this becomes 0 that is cos x into cos x so I get dy by dx to be sine x by cos x into cos x let us continue the problem here so what do you get I get uh, dy by dx is equal to sine by cos can be written as tan x into 1 by cos x is what I have right so 1 by cos x is what secant x so I write tan x into secant x all right that's if at all I differentiate d by dx of secant x my question my answer is what d by dx of secant x would be just write them the other way around that is secant x into tan x and that's how it comes so very simple problem similar way we can find secant x y is equal to cosecant x and your answer will be y dy by dx of uh, i can say cosecant x is minus cot x into cosecant x try it yourself otherwise watch the next video